Hey guys, comparison is the thief of joy. That means that whenever you are comparing yourself to other people or you're thinking about what other people can do, can't do, what they have, they don't have, um, compared to yourself, then you are no longer able to take joy in the things that you have. Now, the Bible says in the book of Philippians that do nothing in rivalry or conceit, right? Nothing in rivalry or conceit, but be humble and consider others more significant. So in other words, think about others and think about them. And if they have better than you, that's awesome. Praise the Lord. If they have or they can do something that you can't do, praise the Lord. If they're better than you, praise the Lord. And, you know, like if, if I can do that, then all of a sudden, did you not hear what I just said? I said, praise the Lord. That means that joy can come. Right? Because I'm not sitting here trying to compete. I'm not sitting here in a rivalry and in conceit or anything like that. I, I'm going to try my best to do everything that God tells me to do. And I'm going to try my best to, to put myself in the best place that I can. But I am not in rivalry with others. Their, their successes are my successes too. Because we're a part of one body. So whenever someone else is having the, the, an awesome something in their life, great. This is fantastic. Let's celebrate. We don't have to live in rivalry with other people. In fact, whenever we come, become humble, then we can just celebrate whenever others have things that we don't. Look, our, our Father has got more than enough. So why do I want to sit and compare like there's not enough attention and love to go around? What, what would happen if I was the best at everything? Like, then everyone could be jealous of me. I don't want anyone to be jealous of me. I don't want to be better than anyone. And that's the heart that we have to have. And I know that that's harder sometimes to, to do than it is to say, but, I mean, that's where it's at. Do you want to be joyful and happy? Well, stop looking at other people's stuff and other people's abilities and thinking that you have to be better yourself in order to be worth it. Because God said, you're worth it. Nothing else that you can do, you are worth it. And he's the one that sets the price. Thanks for taking a minute.